Have you ever been scrolling through Instagram or Facebook or Pinterest and then are smacked over the head with absolute dread as you stumble upon yet another typewriter that has been destroyed for the sake of art? Fear not, dear typewriter user, I have a solution. Hey guys, it's Sarah from Just My Typewriter. I love the look of a typewriter planter, but I have a big issue with damaging typewriters, especially when they can be repaired. So let's make it the safe way. Step one, buy some flowers. Don't go with potted plants. Dirt can really easily get into your typewriter and destroy it by gumming up the works on the inside. Additionally, fresh cut flowers, though beautiful, are full of moisture and general plant gunk that can seep into your typewriter and cause rust and residue, which again is not the goal. Instead, opt for some fake flowers. This way you can pick and choose the design or color you want and rearrange them to your heart's content. Step two, have a typewriter. Any typewriter will do because again, we're not messing with them. It doesn't even have to work. You wanna protect the inside of your typewriter and make sure that dust doesn't collect on the keys or internal mechanisms, especially if this is going to be sitting out uncovered. Try putting some cloth, tissue paper, or a plastic bag down over your key bars to protect them from any extra air particulates. Now you get to put your flowers in your typewriter. The danger here with fake flowers is that the stems can be stiff plastic, and when stabbed directly into the inner workings of a typewriter, tons of damage can occur. Cut the stems relatively short to ensure that they don't poke through any parts of your typewriter. Consider using styrofoam or a plant base to make sure that your stems are arranged together and will hold their shape. And if you're feeling extra crafty, make some tissue paper flowers. This is one of my favorite crafts from growing up, and it's so simple. Start by stacking sheets of tissue paper on top of each other. You can alternate colors or keep them the same. Remember, the more layers of tissue paper, the more petals you'll have on your flower. Then accordion fold your tissue paper, starting on the short end. Once the stack is fully folded, tie a pipe cleaner around the very center. Make sure that it's twisted tight, and you can even leave a little bit to act as a tail or stem. Then slowly lift the tissue paper up from the folded stack layer by layer, fluffing as you go. And voila, a paper flower. You can even vary them in size by cutting down your tissue paper or making them with fewer layers. Now you can arrange these in your typewriter too. And that's how you go from a cringy craft that makes a typewriter person's soul ache to a crafty typewriter owner with way too much time on their hands. If you're interested in more typewriter crafts and content, check out the videos on this channel. You can also follow us on Instagram at just.my.typewriter. I want to thank you all so much for watching today and remind you that you're just my type. Writer.